two boys, one, one brain, brain cell. cell. I'm Joel Norton. And I'm Charles Beeson. And today we're checking out a Patreon pick for festival song by Jeff Rosenstock. And everything we've heard from Jeff Rosenstock has been just fun. Don't jinx it. Agreed. Knock on wood. I was like, what is happening? Hold on. Take me a sec. There you go. That's fake wood. Ah, crud. Uh, cardboard. <laughs> it'll have to do. <laughs> he said it'll have to do. Pretty if we, didn't hide, if we didn't hide your walls, I could knock on that. I know. I know. Thank you for bringing up the walls. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Wonderful. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's jump in. It's been a while since we heard some Jeff, so I'm pretty excited. Let's do it. Preach, yeah. This is this is basically them going after uh, the digital uh, digital mm. world, and then the kind of the uh, establishment around that. Yeah, and the best part is you could take this into other considerations as well. Oh, sure. Your job wouldn't be nice to you if it wasn't for the work you do. Like, and they take way too much advantage of you in general. Like, obviously, there are oh, jobs yeah. that treat their people right, but most jobs. At least most jobs that I've been a part of. Not not ones with shareholders. <laughs> it's all yep. about profit. <laughs> yep. It's all about the almighty dollar at the end of the day. Yep. And they don't, if you weren't worth something, you'd be gone. Mm-hmm. But they want you to put your two weeks in. Figure that out. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> don't get me started on I like that the new, the, the uh, what they said, the, uh, what is it, Gen Z? Is that the generation after us? Mm-hmm. Gen Z's, they're just like, deuces, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> you don't let us know when you fire us. It you makes perfect you, sense. Yeah. I'm not going to do it back to you. Yeah. 
Although I have seen, uh, I have heard things about different jobs that when you do put your two weeks in, they don't want you back, but they'll pay you. That is cool. And I think that's the right way to handle that I, scenario. I, for I sure. like that. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, respect. Thank yeah. you. You can go on your way, but we're going to give you your two weeks pay. Yeah. That's dope. I, I think that is the right way to handle that whole scenario. I agree. Um, give you two weeks of a break between your job. Yeah. And pay you for it on the way for your and, for all your hard work that you did while you were here with the company. Yeah. I mean, if you're there for four years. That's fair. You deserve a couple weeks. Sure. Sure. Um, but end of the day, that's not how it seems to work. And a lot of times, I mean, this is really highlighting, you know, just, Hey, you're worth something Mm -hmm. to somebody somewhere. If you weren't, well, the banks wouldn't like you. (laughs) Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. There's a lot going on here too. Dude. So much. I mean, you could take this into personal life with fake friends too. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And uh, I, what I love about Jeff, he'll sing about a serious topic and make it sound fun. Yep. And <laughs> so glamorized department it. store crust punk chic because Satan's trending up and it's fashion week. <laughs> I, I just, I love that he can, you can take his songs either way. You're in a oh, good yeah. mood. You can take it as that nice beat and the vibe that he yep. sounds with it. Or if you're feeling a little angry, he's got the lyrics there for you. Oh, yeah. He's got the lyrics attacking something yeah. somewhere. Makes you, yeah. I dig it. I don't know where the festival comes in here. I don't know. It's probably just because it's advertisement happy. at festivals kind of thing. Maybe because it's happy sounding. Could be. Like, oh, hey, here's a festival song for well, you. Well, I know he he talked about the lights earlier, and you see a lot of like those bright lights covering the sky in, at certain festivals. So I could see maybe that. With the establishments and the advertisement for everything, yeah, that are at festivals, he could be going that route with it. But and I don't really know the banks thing with the abandoned apartments. Oh no, that shit. pisses me off in general. Okay, like, like, all right, so get we, out so we can not even do anything. With even this. all right, so I live in a small town, and then you have these places that are like just abandoned for forever. Yeah, and um, you finally find out. Oh, the reason the person doesn't have anybody there is because there's like some kind of program that's benefiting them for not having someone in there. Yeah. And you're like, why is that a thing? Yeah. Let's utilize what we have instead. Yeah. It pisses me off. But the banks make more money on building new homes. Yep. Yep. So yeah, that's a whole, that's a whole lot rant. Where are you going rating wise? (laughs) (laughs) Rating wise for this one. I thought it was a lot of fun. There were certain parts where I was ready to sing along already. I'm going to go with an 8.2, and this is going in a playlist. Oh, wow. All right. I really gonna, enjoyed this. I'm going to go with a 6.9, and that is going in a playlist. I definitely enjoyed it. Yep. Not on the level of, that you did, but I still really enjoyed this. Yeah. And uh, it will be going into our punk, our ska punk playlist for the boys. And that's oh, in the description yeah. down below if you're curious. Anything that one of us rates an 8 or higher, or if we mutually rated a 7 or higher, yep. it goes in that playlist. 100%. So you can check out what we have there if you're curious. Anything else you want to add, bud? That's it for me. Joel Norton. Charles Beeson. And until next time, guys. Peace, peace out. out.